welcome to American Dream at the Meadowlands. Some of the features about these projects that will benefit the local citizens especially, that they can benefit from this project. How do you like walking to Hawaii? You wonder what I'm talking about. We will have an indoor Glasgow water park with six foot waves. You can drink the water indoor. You can walk to Hawaii, 85 degree temperature, 365 days of the year. How do you like to go skiing in the middle of the summer, instead going to Denver, Aspen, and I spend thousands of dollars over there to go down there, just take your car, come here, and we have a glass dome, a ski center here with real snow you can ski in the middle of the summer. How do you like to spend with your family, spend thousands of dollars and take a plane and fly, go to some of these amusement parks that we have in North America. Here we will have the largest amusement park that you have ever had. Under a dome, 12 months of the year, 73 degree temperature. You don't have to go anywhere to Rome, Paris, Milan for shopping. We'll have them all here in Netherlands and New Jersey. We will have bowling alleys for you. We will have theaters for you. We have performing art centers for you. We'll have, uh, I have so many things that I can't remember myself. <laughs> we will have mini miniature golf in here. We'll have Bourbon Street like we have in all of them in, in Vesemoto Mall. This, this place is at the nightlife. You don't have to go anywhere. You just drive down in here. We have all of the nightclubs that you have from different countries of the world. We will have international cuisine center, which have restaurants, highest quality, highest quality restaurants from all over the world, from Left Bank to Paris to Japanese section to the Mexican section to the Italian section. So you don't have to fly anymore to Europe to have European cuisine. You just come down in here, and we'll have everything for you. We'll have dinner theaters that you can go and watch a show while you're eating. We'll have movie theaters that you can sit and eat and drink while you're watching the movie. We will have comedy clubs that you can go and enjoy. Those people who are in the United States, if you're bored and you're sad, please move to Melodan. I do have some issues with the way this building looks, and uh, it's getting a makeover, it's getting a new name, it's getting a new look, and most of all, it's getting a new vision uh, from the folks who are taking possession of this place and making it their own, and that's what we needed all along, was someone who didn't just want to use this as a way to make money, but as a showpiece, a centerpiece for their professional development. And that's what the Triple Five Group will do. Uh, there's also going to be uh, a firm timeline for completion, which I think is a relief for all of us. And I am sure that when the fans from around America and the world come streaming to New Jersey for the Super Bowl in January of 2000, February of 2014, uh, they will be spending a lot of time in this building swimming in Hawaii apparently. <laughs>
sure the NFL didn't know that later when they <laughs> gave us the Super Bowl. They get New Jersey, New York, and Hawaii at the same time, but we're going to get it. And it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful part of the Super Bowl experience for the people who come here. And I suspect uh, that by adding this piece to this complex, uh, that this will not be the only Super Bowl that will be played um, here in New Jersey after the experience that the fans will have um, when they come here uh, in January 2014. The project obviously will be an extraordinary economic boost for this region and for our state. It's going to create nearly 9,000 construction jobs over the next two years. And over 35,000 permanent jobs or more once it's completed. No, the name actually, it's really important to us. It, it, it you know, comes back to our family history a little bit as well and what we envision for the future of the, of the project. You know, a family of immigrants, my, my uncle, you heard him speak clearly, not an American accent. Um, he's the, you know, him and his brothers, they came, my father and, and, and him and two other brothers came here, you know, kind of looking for that American dream. And, you know, they, in, in all sense, I think they achieved it. You know, they were able to do that. And now, you know, coming to this project, they want to share that dream with everybody and, and experience it in, in really the greatest place, you know, to do it. You know, this is, this is the center of the world. So put that on a showcase to the world what the American dream is and that you can accomplish that. I think is very important. On the same side, you know, it's more than just our own American dream. As much as we want to, you know, bring the American dream, allow other people to live their American dream. And what I mean by that is, you know, multiple things. One, let everybody come here and enjoy themselves. You know, when you see the kids in the amusement park and they're smiling and they're having a great time, and you see mothers walking with their strollers, happy, enjoying themselves, bags in their hands, just people are having such a great time, I'm telling you that it's, there's like no feeling like it and people are happy and, and tourists who come here are going to say, you know, this is America, this is the life we want, you know, this is what they, and at the same time, you know, as far as opportunity, we have, what, we have these programs, we created at Mall of America, I like to call them incubator programs, one of the things that makes us unique is that we have retail stores and experiences that you don't have anywhere else. So what we do is we create programs where a mom and pop shop, they want to open a store, but the typical center won't let them in. They don't have the experience. They're not going to create the imagery that you may want, you know, typically that people will be warm to. So we bring them in and we walk them through the process of here's how you create your store. This is what you do. Let us help you and create businesses. And we've done that. I think the number at Mall of America is upwards of 50 different stores that have turned into you know, either one-off stores or regional chains and have turned into multiple locations. So we'd like to recreate that experience here and let other people as well, you know, live the dream.